Am I the astronaut for saying my ex-mother-in-law is not family? I, 34 female, am in the process of divorcing my husband, 33 male. We're on good terms and still live together in my house. The house is in my name and was bought before marriage, which means my husband is not entitled to it, according to my country's law. He hasn't moved out yet because of his financial issues. I'm okay with it. He just started a new job and hopes to move out in a month or two. My mother-in-law is a nasty person, and we never get along. She never liked me and made sure I did not feel welcome in the family. Last month, she called me on my birthday to tell me she's glad she no longer has to buy me anything for my birthday because I'm no longer a family. She had recently found out we'd be getting a divorce. Hold up. This, this, this bizzo called you on your birthday to say, I hate you and I'm so glad I don't have to buy you anything. Wow. That is, that is, that is a, a, that is petty. That gets the petty confetti. Oh my goodness. Wowza. Okay. Yesterday she called me. My ex was at work and didn't pick up. That's why she called me, not him, to inform me that she'd be coming over for two days next week because she'll be having a medical procedure done in our city, the capital. She does not drive, so she can't go home straight after the procedure. She was planning to spend the night and take a bus the next day. I told her, absolutely not. She's no longer family. The house is mine, and I don't want random people I don't even like in my house. Neither she nor my ex can afford a hotel. He can't drive her back because of his new work. I won't because she's no longer my problem. My ex is very angry with me and told me I shouldn't be taking out my frustrations on his mother. I'm not. I just don't want her here because I don't like her and I don't feel like I have to put up with this anymore. We're no longer a couple. Am I the astronaut? Fudge. No, you're not. No. If this granny bizzo thinks that she can call you on your birthday and be like, I hate you. I'm glad I don't have to buy you anything anymore, you nasty biznatch. And then... A week later is like, ah, I'm going to come stay there for two days. Not even ask, not even ask you about it. Tell you she told you this was happening. So either she had already arranged this with your ex who still lives with you, or she just decided to impose her will upon him as well. And that's how that normally flows. Might be one of the reasons you guys aren't together anymore. Just a just a hunch, just a hunch there. But she has this perception of her worldview is I could treat everybody like shit and they still have to do me favors. That's not how this works. It's not. And your ex, your ex, had this been pre-communicated to you ahead of time, you would have had a discussion and avoided this this surprise mess, right? He could have told her ahead of time, yeah, that's not going to work. She's not cool with that. It's not my house. I'm just I'm being allowed to stay here right now. So please don't this up for me. No. He was angry with OP for saying no for having self-respect. Again, starting to piece together why you guys aren't together anymore. I'm giving him the brozo. <laughs> Would you look at that? A bizzo birthed a brozo. Shocking. Super shocking. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give Granny this too. I'm calling her Granny. It's the ex's mom. I'm calling her Granny. She's Granny. Uh, Alexia, sign, sign in the doors. Family only, uh, except for X's name um, until X date, something like that. Don't burn bridges. Yeah, especially if you uh, if you need to drive over that bridge at some point. Especially uh, Taylor. I don't understand how she could still hate her so much. They're getting separated. Isn't that what she wants? Right. She won. They're not together anymore. But 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 she's like yeah. But I still need the 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 financial benefits of of that, you know, the aftermath of that relationship. I know it's rubble, but I I still need the benefits of that. It's like, oh, you don't get that anymore. Oh, but he still lives there. Yeah, by the grace of OP, allowing him to live there. Him getting pissed about this is, (laughs) it's like, hey buddy, do you enjoy staying here for free while you get your shit together and and try to save up to, to get a place? Because if not, there it is, the door. You're familiar with this. I'd like for you to use it one last time. 